gentlemen, we now invite the most revered former president of Ghana for his message. Your Excellency, our beautiful First Lady, Mrs. Rebecca Kufuado, Your Excellency, the Vice President, the man of the moment, Mahmoudou Baumia. And our second lady, party elders, party member who later became president. Somehow, Kufuadu picked the same young man to be his running mate. Till then, Baumia was not even in the main stream of party. He was a party man, all right, but behind the scenes. So he picked him, and uh, of course, there were, there were some surprises, people expressed misgivings. I thought of it, and then at a party meeting in the Aliza Hotel, I remembered my first meeting of, with this young man in London, and what I told him. Then it dawned on me again to more or less prophesy. I appealed to the party just to accept this man to carry on, man of destiny. Today, we've all gathered here to launch him as our presidential candidate for 2024 20, election for president of Ghana. As I said, I've come to bear witness that this man definitely is on a mission, a mission determined by destiny. And please, Let's all accept him to, to continue. We happen to be living in times where the whole world, the whole world is in a flux. Leadership is very, very scarce. Quality leadership. If anybody aspires to be a leader without command of the new technologies, like digitalizing technologies to pick the requisite manpower. And here, allow me, I'm a party man, soundly, but I tell you, we should be talking about the nation and not so much about the party. We must get people of competence to work with him to find our way out of the confusion our society and economy have been plunged into. I wouldn't blame any side. If you look at the track records of all the parties, I tell you, you can't find one that can say that in their time they were excellent or superb. No. We are in a new situation, and I believe the saying that come with the, the man is now. It has come for this man. And I like the theme that I posted against the wall. Look at behind the lectern there. Bold solutions for the future. Without the preparations I've talked about, understanding the new technologies and knowing and really committed to your nation to secure a decent and dignified niche in the global context for your nation. That is geopolitics. Without them, I tell you, we will continue to wallow. So I'm witnessing that, I, it seems, look at the field of the arena of the presidency now. It seems this man destiny for this time in Ghana. 
appealing to the whole nation to give him the chance to come. I have a feeling, I have a very strong feeling he is truly the man of the moment and Ghana must accept him. So this is it. Thank you very much. A big round of applause for His Excellency, the former president, John Ajekum Kufuor. And that's a handshake of blessing. Ladies and gentlemen, we are almost ready to receive the leader as he delivers his vision statement. Ahead of that, though, Ghanaians have been expressing some expectations. The government has for the last few years aggressively put in place measures to make possible the vice president's digitization drive. There are certain things that ought to be in place in Ghana to be able to bring interest rates down on a sustainable basis. Uh, you need to make sure that everybody... Ghanaians eagerly await Dr. Baumia's address on Ghana's next chapter. Expectations are high for bold solutions and a visionary roadmap for the future. People across the country are looking forward to the speech. Let's get on the street and find out. My expectation as a student is that we need more jobs in the country because as students, there are a lot of unemployment in the country and also there's a lot of brain drains in the country whereby students are traveling to see greener pastures elsewhere. And doesn't really help boost or improve the economy of Ghana. Ahead of Dr. Baumia's speech on Wednesday, I'm expecting to see bold solutions. It's been 32 years of Ghana's fourth democracy, and we have not really seen any bold solutions. My expertise is that we have a lot of people who are in the world. We have a lot of people who are Ghana <laughs> Dr. Baum Baumia, when you are capital free, can promo free, can make it free. Can can any change be price no yawo. Can you go why no tumo no tumo if any if it is yawo. Can you say call a day when I'm on any if it is yawo. And so today, I'm going to go meeting with my union. This is the last part. Ghana economy map. Can you enjoy your travel? Three years. Me, I feel I'm on the jeans and. 